Representing from East London, England, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox New. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing a two-time world heavyweight champion, Tommy the Duke Morris. We've already gone through all the instructions. Expect a tough, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Any questions here? Any questions here? Let's get it on! He has learned since the McCall fight how to ease his way into a bout from the outset. Tommy Morrison has been in his legs because I cannot tell from his upper body. His upper body looks good. Hard right hand by Tommy Morrison as he steps in. Already, guys, is that Lewis so far. And the reason that they think this is a bad habit is because the best Just a couple of them so far. Morrison. That will move Tommy Morrison's hand. Morrison has made a big point of saying, I don't think I can outbox Lennox Lewis. And slow it down because this is the best punch in boxing. Lennox Lewis using this jab like he is, it's going to be very difficult. You look at this. Him. The weight that Lennox has added is as formidable a picture as there is in the heavyweight division. Lewis is old. He's gained weight in all the right places. It must be most. Yes. He's a very intimidating pitcher just looking at him for a person like Morris. Jab. But Lewis's jab has dominated the action jab already. Another right hand miss as the round comes to his knees. Come Lewis pushing him on the back of the head. He can't get his attack going because he felt the powder jab. So let's work on the jab. Right. Let's take it away from him by using more jabs. More seven. He's trying to force an opening rather than merely wait for an opening as he has often done oh, in the Oh boy, it's a big step forward. One thing we've noticed in Lewis's past by hand over the top, but he threw 52 snapping jabs. the same thing right now, though. He should be working Lewis's body in as round well. number one, and that kind of activity can only well. He's the shorter fighter here. For him to have an advantage, he should throw more body shots. Emmanuel Stewart's reworking of Lennox Lewis's fighting style. Sneak the left hook past Lewis's right hand. It was partially blocked. Later in the fight, if he starts in the corner, Tommy was breathing, long stride, and there's a good body shot. Good body shot by Morrison, but he goes down, so score it a knockdown for Lewis. I thought it was a left hook. The fighters had their backs to us. That's what happens to Morrison. Lewis he just to move his head more. He makes himself a still target for Lewis. Both fighters need more and, and now there's blood at Tommy from Lennox Lewis that put Morrison down as a pair in the round for Lewis. This is the best Lewis we've seen in a while, much more measured, less wild. Better. We're letting him fight his fight here because we're at the end of his punches. Okay. Wide open for too long of a period of time. Trying to block Morrison's way in with it. Lewis must be careful when he throw the wild punch then. He's sharing. Tommy needs to throw the wild three punch combinations because Lennox is doing something smart. You put this commissioner Larry Hazard looking to nationalize officiating in the sport. He says bring it on. Morrison. He has more leverage out there. It's harder for you to hit him from more. It looks like Morrison was correct when he said there was no way he could outbox Lennox, Lennox, Lennox Lewis and he's, as he goes right after the, the eye that he bloodied in the last round. And you're in his punching reach and he is not in yours. So how is Tommy between going? Morrison's punches, which is what I told you would be a problem right, for him. Let him go, let him go, Tommy. This fight is one step in that direction. Put this talent together with real knowledge and you've really got something, but that's always been the case. He's starting to feel, look like he's falling slightly. Listens to Stewart and elects to walk on in. He's gonna give Morrison. The way he's throwing the hook is almost as though he's been watching. Listen to time in the decade of the 90s that Tommy Morrison's been punches so he can slip them and get inside. I can tell you one more thing that I can see. Morrison is getting a little closer to Lennox. This means that 
It's almost like backing a cat into the corner if you put your hand. That's what I just said. It's almost going to be like backing and outboxing him. He should work on trying to counter that jab. Landed a big but grazing right. Third round coming to a close. If falls, he'll have to be very careful of that right hand right there. Though he's been watching some Roy Jones tapes or something. It's not that good. Once he gets inside, he has to stay inside. That right there is not the left hook for Lennox Lewis. And if Marson keeps standing out there and then if I were Marson, I would be content with that. He's never been noted as a left hooker. It's been his most well, making fight him much harder than he is doing right now. Yeah. There's a right hand by Morrison. The Mills Lane gets him at, at the distance again, and Lewis landed a right hand. And that's what Tommy just tried to do, countering over the jab with the right hand. A straight right after the opening exchange, but... Let, let it dictate the pace. You can count for a 12th knockdown because he will go to Morrison to beat. So, so far, he has not been able to slip shot Lewis. Out of time, hoping to tie Lennox in the later round. He lost that neck. He lost that neck. Come on, let's go. Tommy Morrison. I wouldn't try to walk him down. I would sit there under his left eye, but he's starting to connect more and more free throws. Powerful, sharp punches. He's landing more punches. Morrison may be landing the harder shots, although there was Morrison out at the end of his jab for the time being. He's eating it, and as long as that's the case, he won't get inside. Well, he, that, there he's inside. He can later will tell you exactly what's going on there. Connects more and more frequently with those right hands as he steps inside. Body shot. Keep him off balance with the jab and just peck him until you set up a bit. Kind of ring awareness Lewis has not always shown in his career. Blood from the right eye of Morrison again. Morrison stepping in with the right. And lands a chopping right. Firing punches. You let him out too many times and you're trying to go high. You want to walk him down, just put your hands up tight and walk straight to him. He can't do shit. It's too much weight, too much strength. Morrison seems to tire automatically at the end of four rounds. Harold Letterman, how do you have it scored so far? 40 to 35, Lennox Lewis. I gave Lennox Lewis four minutes. And appears to be losing his vision as time goes on. Lennox has an um, purposes. He's never won a fifth round in his career. And as the graphic showed you, you can't see the punches coming. He goes way down in this stanza. It happened again earlier this summer. About to take over now, expression on his face. These things are, have a, a play a big role in a boxing ring. He's been very effective in the first minute of this round. Two things are good round for him. He's letting this if mental game again, get to him. Your point. Like you don't even have to want to get him out. By Lewis. All those punches. If you stay out of Lennox's range, and he has the longest arms, then that means you're that much further out of your own range. Against Razor Rudder. These fighters are very tired. The only thing is that... Under a minute in round number four. Or check it, round number five, I should say. Real, real good defense. Tommy's not getting through, and I think Vergetz is killing eyes are starting to swill, and this just started... Just were blocked by Lennox Lewis's arms. And there's a monumental uppercut. Morrison went to one knee. Lane calls it a knockdown, correctly so. Morrison knew it. He went immediately to the neutral corner, and that right eye's looking pretty bad. I give up look on him. Lennox knows it. Lennox is just going to keep coming. Lennox, and they're insane. So he cannot hit Lennox. Round in the second round. Uh, how's your eye? Come on. I got this one. Uh -huh. I got the left one. Give him a round, Bob. Give him a yeah. round. Oh, yeah, we're going to give him a round. We just want to see how bad it is. Okay. Tommy? Tommy? Some serious Listen. damage in face, this Tommy. round. Yes, right, right, he asked the doctor okay, to give Tommy, him one more round when the we doctor see, can he land a big shot now. Oh, that's a terrific right hand shot. Make a statement here anytime. In pleading his own case, this thing too fast, I'm dangerous. But now he comes back to the jab, popping it, been a factor so far. Down goes Morrison again, and this is becoming a blowout. Morrison is too six, con concerned about his seven, eye. He's letting his eye take him out okay. of the fight. Third knockdown, and Lennox begins to showboat just a little bit. This is the round Morrison stopped running after taking a terrible Very beating. close to a stoppage here. You get that sense. Down goes Morrison again, and I wonder if Mills has seen three, enough. Four, there is five, no three knockdown rule six, in effect. That's the fourth seven. knockdown of the fight, and that'll do it. A terrific performance by Lennox Lewis. Defensively, he kept that right hand up so that he completely neutralized Tommy Morrison's outstanding left hook. 
His jab was harder than we've seen it before, more purposeful. He fought a perfect fight. KO victory, his march to regain the heavyweight championship continues. The winner, former heavyweight champion Lennox Lou.